while Google Chrome and the Microsoft Edge web browser are both based on Chromium source code, Edge is now far superior with a ton of useful features Chrome does not have. Continuing our series showcasing browsers that are better than Chrome, I'll show you eight compelling reasons why you should quit using Chrome and use Edge instead. Let's get started. Unlike Chrome, Microsoft Edge allows you to arrange the tabs on the left side of the browser window instead of on top with a feature they call vertical tabs. This is useful for those of you that keep a lot of tabs open to not lose sight of the page titles, especially if you keep 10 or more tabs open at a time. To activate vertical tabs, click the Tab Actions menu in the upper left and select Turn on Vertical Tabs. At first this might feel awkward, but in time you might not want to switch back. You get all this space to display the titles of the pages. To gain back some of your screen real estate, click the arrow to collapse the pane when you don't need it. Then hover your cursor over the pane to quickly see your open tabs. To switch back to the horizontal layout with the tabs on top, click the Tab Actions menu and select Turn Off Vertical Tabs. While we're on the subject of tabs, let's go over a couple more useful features Edge has that can save you time that Chrome does not have. Clicking the Tab Actions menu and selecting Search Tabs allows you to quickly search for the words in the titles of the tabs that you have open, along with those you recently closed. Let's close this out. In addition, while Chrome lets you easily reopen the last closed tab only, Edge on the other hand gives you a full list to choose from of tabs you have closed. To do this, click the Tab Actions menu and select Recently Closed Tabs. And you'll see a full list under Recently Closed, Selecting tabs from other devices will also show you recently closed tabs from your other devices that use Edge. As we discussed in a prior video in this series, Chrome does offer an experimental reader mode that to put it nicely is underwhelming. Edge offers a reader mode they call Immersive Reader, which is the best I've used of any browser. To enable the reader mode, click the Immersive Reader icon in the address bar. Doing this gives you a cleaner layout, removing the advertisements, pop-ups, and other distractions. There's a ton of settings for you to play around with. You can change the text size, spacing, the font, the column style, and you can change the theme. Selecting more themes gives you nearly two dozen to play around with. I prefer dark gray. There's also settings in grammar tools and reading preferences that you can change. The read aloud feature is quite good. I'll play you a sample. Smaller than a flea, the smallest remote-controlled walking robot ever. A magnified view of the tiny crab robot, standing on the edge of a coin. If you go into voice options here on the right, you can modify the reading speed and choose a voice with a massive amount to choose from in various languages. Edge has built-in performance enhancements not available with Chrome. I'll show you the key settings you should change to get the most out of using Edge. In the upper right, select the menu icon and go to settings. In the left pane, go to system and performance. In system, enabling startup boost shortens the length of time for the browser to load up, reserving a small amount of memory to the browser's process while it runs in the background. In optimized performance, turning on efficiency mode will reduce the CPU load, which is especially handy when using a laptop to reduce the battery usage. If you play games on your PC, enable the option below to improve your gaming experience. And to use less system RAM, turn on Save Resources with Sleeping Tabs. This will save on system resources, putting tabs that are inactive to sleep after a specified amount of time. Edge has a cool feature called Collections that comes in handy when doing research online to save information gathered from the internet into groups. In other words, it's a more advanced bookmarking tool. To access collections, go to the toolbar at the top and click the collections icon. To add a new group, select start new collection. Give it a name, we'll call this one metaverse. And below that, you can add the current page. Another way of adding a page to a group is to right click anywhere on the page, go down to add page to collections and select your group. The Edge Bar is a useful tool not found on Chrome to quickly access the Microsoft Newsfeed, Bing, Outlook, and LinkedIn, along with other sites you add. It's very similar to the sidebar found on the Vivaldi browser. To launch it, click the Settings icon, go down to More Tools, and select 
Launch Edge Bar. To add a website to the Edge Bar, click on the plus, enter the web address, give it a name if you want, and click on Add. And there it is. Even when you close out Edge, the bar will remain on your desktop to access at any time. If you want the Edge Bar to automatically launch when your computer starts, click the Settings and More icon and select Settings. Turn on, automatically open Edge Bar when the computer starts. Microsoft is probably not the first name that comes to mind when you think of privacy. But when compared to Chrome, Edge does offer greater privacy, including the blocking of third-party cookies that follow you from site to site as you browse the web. To adjust the privacy settings, click the menu icon in the upper right and select Settings. With the Privacy, Search, and Services tab selected on the left, you'll see the three levels of tracking prevention on the right. Basic, Balanced, and Strict. I usually keep this on Balanced, so all websites work properly. Below, clicking on Block Trackers, you can see which sites Edge has blocked from tracking you. Just having it on Balanced, the tracking prevention has blocked more than 6,000 trackers. Outside of Chrome's hidden developer tools and experimental features, Chrome does not have a proper screenshot tool. Edge does, and they call their feature Web Capture. To use it, click the Web Capture icon in the upper right. You have two options. Capture Area lets you choose a specific area that you'd like to capture by left-clicking and dragging. When you let go, you can copy it to your clipboard and paste it where you want it. Selecting Markup Capture gives you a drawing tool and eraser. From here, you can also share with others, copy to your clipboard, and save it to your computer. The other screenshot option lets you capture the full page. Clicking on it will capture the entire page from top to bottom. Here you have the same markup tools and the other stuff mentioned earlier. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you've already made the switch from Chrome to Edge, let us know in the comments why you switched. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.